All right, guys, I don't have any statements really, just you got any questions. What did you think about the first day in pads? Uh, you know, I was pleased with the effort, pleased with the enthusiasm. Of course, everybody can have it on the first day. We'll see if it carries over. That uh, two-minute series for the first team at the end, three throws, touchdown, just uh, take us through your perspective on that, and is that just kind of a little bit of a peek into what you guys can be offensively? Well, I know we executed, and that's what happened when we executed. And uh, those guys did a good job. Uh, they did a good job up front, and uh, Baker had time to throw, and uh, they did a good job running their routes and catching the ball. So, yeah, I expect them to execute. <laughs> Are the running uh, periods kind of tilted towards the defense because they know you're going to run the ball? Yeah, especially when I tell them right where the ball is running. Yeah. Yeah. Were you directing that at Tacky Tacky, by the way? Uh, which one? When you said we're coming at the A gap right now. Uh, I was in general, the okay. defense. I don't even know who was on defense you that play. That. I haven't watched the defensive tape yet, so. But what, what are you, where are you? But it would have matter. It wouldn't have mattered. I was still telling them where the ball was going. But was that the point of trying to run when everyone knew you were running? Yeah, that's what you got to be able to do in this league. But what are your impressions of Taki Taki overall? I think Taki Taki needs to keep getting better. Uh, he's a physical guy. Sometimes he lets that get the best of him. Uh, when we're in shorts, I don't want him to change who he is. I just want him to be able to play in shorts and practice in shorts and get better. And uh, he's working at that, and he's going to get better at that. Freddie, do you like Baker um, going after the receivers a little bit? Do you think they responded to that? Uh, I don't know if they responded to him or not, but yeah, I expect my quarterback to, to get everybody on the same page. That's what I want. It, um, it was a false start and I think a bad snap and the lineman had to run down. What's your philosophy on that? Uh, there's consequences in life. There's consequences on the football field. So try to create consequences uh, within the practice. And uh, today that just happened to be one of the consequences. How do you feel the tone was set today, being that it's the first day of uh, pads? I know people get excited and stuff, but what did you see out there in the tone with, it, with all the players? I think they understand uh, that we need to stay in the moment and, and get better. Uh, I think they understand we need to be a physical football team. Uh, I think they understand the division that we play in, uh, that we need to be a physical football team. And I think that's the way uh, they're going to approach each and every day. And I think they did a good job of that today. The execution wasn't there always, uh, but that's fine. We've got plenty of time to get the execution. I want to make sure the mindset's right. Do you expect to get any of the backs back on the field, or are you going to have to add some? You know, have to re-practice. You know, I think we're in kind of deliberations right now about that, but uh, from that standpoint, we should be getting some back here pretty soon. I, I can't answer your question. I'm just trying to give you a fluff <clears throat> answer there, but, uh, you know, we don't know. It's kind of a day-to-day -day thing right now. Yeah, some Browns veterans like Brian Seif and Jerry Shirt, were they, they seem like they, were they talking at, as practice ended? And Robert Jackson? Yeah, Robert Jackson. Um, uh, yes, I, I wanted them to say something to the team. Uh, I mean, you're looking at a guy there that was NFL MVP in 1980. Um, Brian Seif, everybody knows him, was great. He was quarterback of some great teams. Um, you had Robert Jackson, that was a undrafted free agent. And they had numerous rounds, so everybody had an opportunity to pick him, and they didn't pick him. Uh, but he ended up playing, what, 11 years in, in, in the National Football League. Um, and then you had Shirk that, you know, was uh, the defensive player of the year in, I think, 1976, I think. So, I mean, that's the Cleveland Browns. That's the history. Uh, I want these guys to know about the history of the Browns. Uh, you know, they can see the fans. They can see the passion that the fans bring. But uh, sometimes it's harder for them to get a feel for, for the people that have come before them because they're all wearing the same brown and orange. Um, and you know, they're still with us in a sense. Freddie, you look like Gilbert made two nice throws. Has he made any impression on you yet? Early, get uh, the quarterback, Gilbert? Yeah, I like it. I like Garrett. Um, you know, he made some nice throws today. Uh, he made a couple of checks. I'm sure he wished he had back. But, uh, you know, every everything is a process here, and, and uh, he's going to continue to get better. And the longer he stays in the system, uh, the more efficient and successful he should be. But uh, he's got great arm talent. He's a very intelligent guy. Um, and I think he's tough um, mentally and physically. And I think he's got the requirements that it takes to play in the National Football League. What's jumped out at you about um, Blake Jackson and Damon 
Sheehy, Giuseppe? Giuseppe. Uh, just their willingness to get better and, and continue to learn and, and take reps. Um, and I'll tell you something about those two guys. You better be in there in the huddle or they're going to jump in and get you rep. So, uh, you know, that's why I like that kind of stuff. I like people that want to. I like people that, that strive to get extra attention. Uh, because in the National Football League, especially during this time of year, you're either going to get exposed or you're going to get exposure. And I think you'd much rather have exposure than getting exposed. Because getting exposed means you're probably not going to be here when the, the calendar turns to September. Will you spend a few consecutive days in pads, or what, what is your plan for that? Yeah, I don't see shorts coming back into play anytime soon. <laughs> hey, Freddie, will you have tackling to the ground in some practices, or will they be like today? Oh, uh, yes, we'll have some in some practices, yes. I don't know which ones yet. Uh, I haven't decided. Um, some of it may depend on how the practice is going. I don't know. But, uh, you know, but I know defensively they're still going to thud up on the back, and I'm going to know that they would have made that tackle. All right. So, um, yeah, I mean, everybody knows that's part of the process of learning how to practice, right, is uh, trying to avoid unnecessary injury uh, but still get your work done in a physical nature uh, with the proper technique. Uh, and that's what we're trying to teach right now, how to practice, because we've got to continue to get better every time we go on the field. Every time the ball is snapped, we need to get better. And the only way you're going to do that is to practice being better. Um, and I think we're trying to learn how to do that right now. When you were at Alabama, do you guys tackle to the ground? At Alabama? We were at practice, yeah. Oh, I mean, that was a long time well, I ago. Know, I know. But um, yes, uh, we did. We did. And my, uh, yeah. The quarterbacks didn't get hit. Good, well, that's good. But, um, unless it was the spring huh. and they got hit. But um, <laughs> my, my point of that is, you know, 30 years ago in practice, they would tackle to the ground. Mm -hmm. And do you think just thudding or, and not tackling, overall, does that diminish players' ability to tackle when you don't really do it enough? Uh, I think so, of course. I think, uh, you know, everything is set up for not tackling and you kind of have to make an exception. That's the reason you're asking me this question, right? Yeah. Because the, the norm is not to tackle, all right? And uh, when you play at first energy in September, the norm should be to tackle. So it doesn't equate, all right? Yeah. So yes, there will be tackling. Um, I do think that's across the league, that's some problems, right, right. but but listen, we've got a lot of, uh, there's some issues that, you know, you need to make sure you teach them how to tackle too. So it has a lot to do with the technique, yeah. teach them how to tackle, and I think we're getting the best of both worlds without putting anybody in unnecessary risk of injury, uh, you know, by, by, by making sure our pad level down, our feet keep moving, and our arms go around him, all right, not out. So yeah, yeah, my um, question was not just the Browns, it was league wide, it seemed yeah. like. Tackling isn't very good. Well, I think so, but the the one thing I don't know what they're doing league wide. I just know what we're going to do here, and we're going to teach the technique of tackling. And I think Steve and his staff has done a great job of uh, of doing that. Um, I know we work it every day, and then whenever we go to these team periods and these live periods, we're still going to work it. We're just not going to sling the running back to the ground. Was this a day uh, that Morgan Burnett was not going to take as many reps, or is Whitehead gone? No, this was a, a built-in day for, for Morgan uh, to not take as many reps. But he was still dressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that, you uh, wearing long sleeves out there, is that coincidental? Are you just following Dorsey's lead? Or? No, I just I try to do it for some protection, me personally. Um, I've always done it. Same with the pants, you know, just no no reason. My right. wife keeps my wife keeps trying to get me to wear these bucket hats. <laughs> uh, but I'm still resisting that. But I did concede to the long pants and the long shirt. Freddie, I know you were asked about running backs earlier who are injured, but because Duke is new to the, to the yeah. group, is there anything you can tell us about timetable for him? Um, we don't know specific. We're going to see how it progresses. Uh, Duke's a quick healer, so uh, but we also want to be cautious from the standpoint of uh, the guy's got to play for us, so we got to get him, make sure he's healthy, and he's, it's not something that lingers. And sometimes with these uh, these hamstrings, sometimes they linger. But you know, Duke, uh, you know, Duke will be fine. It's just we want to make sure we err on the side of caution. Hey, when you say Burnett was still dressed, I mean, we know you're referring to last year and the hard knocks. Why is it important to you that? 
there's a difference between dressed and spending the day on the bike or whatever. Well, because Morgan still practiced, he just didn't he didn't partic- he didn't get a lot of team reps. Um, and I think they have to be available. You have to be available. I mean, even if uh, I don't know, I mean, the, their teammates see them over there on a the bike. I mean, that's like I don't know what that is. I don't. I've never understood that. So I don't want to get into that. That was last year. This is my philosophy. And somebody's gonna think I'm an idiot. All right, but I don't really care. All right, so I'm not gonna change how I feel because of what somebody else says or what somebody else does, or what somebody else thinks of me or thinks how I'm running at the ship. You know, it's that's what I decided to do because I think it builds teamness and togetherness. And I think we've got to be together before we do anything. I've said that from the very beginning. And uh, I think if you've got some guys over there on the bike um, that can practice, all right, uh, they need to go through individual period. They need to go over. They need to stand by their coach in their uniform with their helmet ready to listen and learn and teach the other guys. Morgan Burnett's been in this league a long time. He knows what's going on. So, um, you know, that's just my philosophy. I just think they need to be a part of it. They're part of the team, so be a part of the team. Just to clarify, um, were you unhappy with the performance of the run game or understanding of why it looked like it did? Oh, no, I wasn't. uh, you You know, I take this, Tony, with a grain of salt, man. This was the first day in pads. And, uh, I, I, I would have been much more concerned if we ran through our defense than I would be now. All right? I mean, no, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about the defense or the offense. We're going to come out tomorrow and we're going to get better. Hey, uh, when you're talking about you expect your quarterback to make sure everybody's on the same page. Yeah. Did you, during your quarterbacking days, did you make sure guys were on the same page in that similar fashion? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that was, uh, yeah, I made, I made sure the running back was running to the right so I could hand it to him there, so that was about it. But I mean, getting after he got Oh, yeah, I think so. I think you could ask probably some of my friends, call the, you know, Tennessee coaching staff and ask them, I don't know. I think I probably was, yeah, I probably too much. Just wonder if you relate to that leadership style. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I think you got to, there's different leaders, but, um, you know, I don't know. I want him to be himself. I mean, he wanted to, he wanted to say something. He said something, and you know, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, it's not, you know, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It's just whatever he wants to do. I know they need to be on the same page. So I don't care how it gets done. They need to be on the same page because that's their job. I'm going to be my job, and everybody needs to do their job. Just do their job, and we'll be successful. Some people did and some people didn't. So whenever somebody doesn't, somebody needs to correct it. All right? Whether it's a coach, another player, another player in the same room, I don't care how it does. I just want it corrected. I'm about the result, not the want to or should have. I don't like the snapping of the fingers or the clapping of the hands because that's an almost. I don't just make the play. All right? Just do your job. Have you encouraged him to be any more of a vocal leader like that, or is he just taking it upon himself to do that? I have not encouraged him to do anything from that standpoint.